This video training is being brought to you by SQL Server 2012 Tutorial.com. Uh, the topic of this series uh, that we are starting today is uh, SQL Tutorials by Cache Part 1. And uh, today we are going to be uh, basically looking at the SQL update statement. Um, if you want to know more information about uh, these videos or to learn more about SQL Server 2012 Tutorial, um, you know, software information, please visit our site that is listed here. So uh, let's get going. Well, as far as the update statement, basically this is the query that is used to update or modify data in a table or a view in a database. This is part of the DML statements, which stands for data manipulation language. What that means is that uh, you use these along with, uh, let's say, um, insert, update, select statements to manipulate the data. Uh, this is different than DDL, which is a data definition language, which would be things like uh, creating table uh, and other objects. But anyway, using the update statement, uh, you can update a single field, uh, multiple fields, single record, or multiple records. We do need to use the WHERE clause to limit affected rows. Without the WHERE clause, you will be updating all of the rows in a table. Oops. That does happen in real life, but uh, just a word of caution on that. Um, now, the update query can also use a subselect, which is also known as a subquery. Um, we, uh, we're not going to look at this last point. Uh, possibly we may have another separate video on that because that, uh, you know, we're getting into a little bit of advanced topics. So we want to keep things simple. So moving on as far as the, uh, the syntax um, for an update statement, it's uh, fairly uh, simple. You basically, um, you know, start with the update keyword clause. You add your table or a view. A view, by the way, is a virtual table. Um, you know, that you can create on top of one or more tables, but we're not going to take a look at that. And then uh, after the update keyword, you're going to do a set. This is where you are assigning the value uh, to, you know, one or more columns. So here we have column one is equal to some value, and then column two is equal to some value, where certain conditions are true, okay? Now the common wisdom or conventional wisdom really is to use uh, upper caps for SQL uh, keywords. So you'll notice that when I'm using update, uh, you know, it's capitalized uh, and, and other um, objects are not. Now this doesn't have to be this way. Uh, it's just a, a common practice. You can actually, you know, do everything lowercase, uppercase or mixed, whatever your little heart desires. Okay. In, uh, in, um, Regarding the syntax, if you wanted more information, you are free to uh, visit this website that we have included. We are primarily uh, going to be working with SQL Server. Uh, in your case, you know you may have Oracle or MySQL or some other uh, database, but uh, the basic syntax does apply across the board. Now, uh, like I just mentioned, for our queries today, we will be using Northwind database. This is a sample database that has been around for decades, uh, literally. Uh, but I like to use it because it's got a simple schema structure, which is easy to understand. And for today's uh, demo, we are going to be using SQL Server 2012. And that's the latest and greatest, uh, you know, enterprise level database from Microsoft. Now, specifically, what are we going to do today? Okay, so we are going to be updating a customer's table and we will, uh, you know, show you a single field and also multiple fields. We are also going to be updating the same table, but this time we will use uh, multiple rows as it's mentioned here. And then finally, we're going to switch gears and then uh, try to update one table with information from another table. Uh, I, I am missing one item in here. We are also going to be uh, updating orders table. Okay. Uh, with some information too. I believe it is it is multiple rows okay so those are the things we will be doing um so let's go ahead and switch to uh sql server management studio i'm already logged in if you do not um you know if you're not familiar with uh, uh management studio like i mentioned uh, i would uh, recommend uh, you know checking out videos or you can uh, go to our site let me just uh, highlight this one also um we have uh 
a lot of a lot of free stuff we have a blog that uh, we you know we discuss information on sql server and whatnot so feel free to check that out um, in order to learn more uh, for this video we are assuming that you already are familiar with management studio okay now i'm logged in uh, i just want to show you under my databases i expand i will uh, have northwind database i already you know have some tables and data in here uh, before we get going let me just show you uh, the customer table by the way you'll notice i have a few copies here it's the same table really uh, i'm just uh, you know playing around with different data but uh, you'll notice that uh, you know here is our basic uh, information from the customer table things like customer id company name contact information some address information phone numbers fax number so fairly straightforward uh, layout in here okay now uh, for our demo what we have done is we have already saved some of these scripts uh, i will actually walk you through the um, actual update statements but uh, you know just to save time and i'm sure you do not uh, you know need to see me type every single um, character in here so i i did some of the legwork already uh, now again um, this you know for our examples today we are going to use sql server northwind database and using sql server 2012 okay before we get going uh, this is really more fii if you are new to sql server that the lines in green so anything that is green like the one i'm showing you are uh, you know comments and typically they'll start with a dash dash so you notice here uh, you know, this one is starting with two uh, dashes. These are commas. So in other words, SQL Server does not execute this when we, you know, try to run the code. And um, items that are in um, blue and purple, um, I don't have an update, but when, when I start writing an update statement, uh, you'll notice that uh, that is, um, I don't know, even know if it's purple, it's more like pink I guess my uh, my eyesight is going uh, you know down by the minute but um, these are going to be the SQL keywords okay so this really why do we have this just really to give you a visual idea you know of your code okay so enough uh, enough chatter let's uh, get down to business um, I'm going to select the data first okay so all I'm doing is I'm doing a select star from customers let me let me move this up and of course we have no data because i am in the wrong database so i'm going to select northwind and then execute uh, this so like i said this is the same data that you just looked at now here's what we're trying to do okay we really need to do an update in a single column we would like to update the country for all the records that have usa in them and we would like to change it to america okay because you know we don't like the acronym we would like to want to use the whole thing and I just scroll to the right if you look at the column uh, in the table this is what I'm talking about if we if we go down here you'll notice that you know here here we have a uh, customer let's go back and find out uh, uh, Great Lakes food market company they are in USA we would like to change uh, basically the country instead of USA here it should say America so how do we do that well let's filter down a little bit uh, you know what we are trying to look at so let me just uh, I'm selecting only three actually four fields from the table and I'm limiting you'll notice here so so the way you read this is select company name city country region from the customers table well I only want what I want those customers that are in USA okay because we don't really care about the rest of the world actually that's not true but uh, for our purposes we're just doing that okay so here if you look at the bottom right we have 13 rows okay I'm going to change all of these to America how do I do that well let's uh, let's follow our syntax okay so um, I'm just going to write, retype it. So you start with update. Well, what are we trying to update? We are trying to update customers table, okay? And I am going to update what? Well, I would like to update the, the country field. 
okay and I will like to change this to America so you just put a single code okay I forgot a key thing here we are trying to set right we have to use that command so we're trying to do set country is equal to America well which rows where we only want to change the ones where country and you'll notice that uh, SQL Server gives you a little bit of uh, hint that it finds the field so you can you know select this if you wanted to well we only want to change those records where you know it's USA okay so that's all there is to it it's a very simple uh, update command uh, in SQL Server if you want to highlight and run a specific code you just select that okay and then you can either hit F5 or this button uh, ex execute okay so let's go ahead and run that now notice it says 13 rows affected so I'm going to copy this and just uh, you know put that in here just so I, I can keep track of things now if I go back okay and run this I'm actually going to bring it down here okay um, notice that you know the records have been changed but in fact if I run USA it doesn't return anything why doesn't it return anything well we changed it right we changed it to America so I'm going to copy paste that here now when I run this bad boy notice this our friends at Great Lakes Food Market they have changed their country name or actually we have changed their country to America okay so that's a very simple update statement okay uh, you know so keep that in mind uh, this this did affect uh, put this in there just to kind of keep track of things so this did affect uh, 13 rows okay all right well that's great what else can we do well we can do a lot we can uh, not only uh, update uh, one column but we can also certainly update multiple columns okay so let's say we wanted to update the region field well what do you do I'm going to be a, a little bit lazy here copy this command okay bring it down here this time not only am I changing the country I would like to change the region okay and let's just call the region US before I run this I do want to show you something let me highlight this execute it and I want you to look at the last column okay see this the region right now they're using the states okay that's fine this is in Washington we got some uh, the big cheese I love that I'm actually uh, grew up in Wisconsin so I like that one it should be Wisconsin in there but anyway let's uh, keep focused here I would like to change this one to US okay and obviously the country to America which it already is but uh, this just shows you that we're updating multiple fields so now I'm going to highlight this run it again uh, it says it didn't affect anything Ooh, because I have a problem I do not have any records that you know say USA now we say America right so I need to change this okay now I'm going to run this again and voila it's affecting 13 rows let's uh, let's copy this here okay clear the area a little bit now when I go back okay and look at the region column which is the last one nice everything is switched to US okay